creating announcements within your Google Classroom is a great way to keep your students informed and also to communicate with your students as well. Once getting onto your Google Classroom, you are then brought to your default stream page. Your stream page of your Google Classroom is where, again, your students are able to be kept up to date and abreast with different announcements and postings that you do create as well as the reminder of announcements and materials and other things posted to the Google Classroom as well. In order to create an announcement, you will click on the text box located here, right underneath your Google Classroom banner. It does display announce something to your class. Clicking here, you are then brought to your announcement creation screen. There are a few things that you do have the control and settings of. For example, here you are able to select multiple Google Classrooms that you would like to post this particular announcement to. You are also able to select the students who receive this announcement. Once students are enrolled into your Google Classroom course, they will be listed individually here. If you are needing to place an announcement for only a particular group of students, you could then unselect the all students option and then simply select each individual student. Here you are able to type in your announcement. For this example, I'm going to use our classroom end of the school year party will take place next Monday. Please remember to bring in your treats for everyone. Underneath your text box, you do have a few options where you are able to alter your text. Here, you do have also the option to be able to attach certain files so you can upload from your Google Drive. You can upload from your device. You can also upload a link to an external website outside of Google Classroom and also can link a YouTube video. Finally, by selecting this post option, this announcement would post immediately to your Google Classroom stream and it would be located on the top of your stream. Remember that your most recent announcements are placed on top unless you physically move other announcements. This drop down menu does allow you to also save this as a draft where you can use it later or edit it before posting later. And also you are able to schedule this to post at a later date. For example, let's suggest that I want to post this announcement on Friday the 27th at 8 a.m. By selecting this date and time and that schedule option, you will see now that this announcement is saved here under our saved announcements. It will post automatically at the date and time that I did choose. If I need to edit the announcement, the attachments, or even the date and time before it posts, I can select here to do so. Once your announcement again posts, it will be posted to the top of your stream page. You are able to still edit that announcement even once it's posted. For example, here is a announcement that I posted previously before. You will even see that it does say edit it yesterday where I was able to go in and edit it after being posted. You can do so by selecting the three dots in the upper right corner of that announcement and select edit. And again, your editing screen for your announcement will pop up. You are also able to delete your post here and also copy a link directly to the post that you could send out to students or guardians, whomever needs to see that announcement, who may not be on to Google Classroom.